If ducks wanted water, then water they would have. But the water in George's pool wasn't. <laughs> and if the water didn't go away, neither would the ducks. All he had to do was bring it to them. How could this be hard? George remembered carrying this same pool at the beginning of the summer. Water. He forgot to refill it. George found out the hard way that the hose was too short. George knew they were down to only a duck and a half. He had to get water up that hill somehow. He needed something that held water, but was smaller than a pail. <laughs> this was going to take a few trips. George knew he couldn't fill the pool in time. It was over. George, I saw you running up and down. What are you doing trying to fill a pool one cup at a time? Uh huh. <laughs> City kids, there are proper ways to carry water. I'll show you. Stop there, or it'll be too heavy. Uh. Well, I carry one up, you fill the other one halfway. This is called a bucket brigade. George's idea worked. A happy ending for ducks and duck lovers. This is way too close to the edge. I'll pull it back. moment, Jumpy remembered why he always stayed in trees. George, is that yo, my hat? You know, there's a proper method for mop squeezing. Yep, I know, Bill. George, I want to remind you, those ducks are here temporarily. <laughs> George wondered exactly how long he could make temporarily last. 